こうと思ったんですけど、結構人いますね、これ。しかしですね。This one on the left? Yep, yes. And also, a lot of this、uh, is located in this building as well. Okay. Second floor. Second floor. In this building. Okay.、Uh, please come to this building, our office,、mm -hmm. uh, at, at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. on 4th April. Okay. Here it is. Home sweet home. That's where I put my shoes. Here's my little kitchen. Little kitchen with a big sink. Gas burner. Fridge. Freezer. Fridge. Bathroom. Same setup as I had in the hotel last night. Here is the main room. I'm gonna put my clothes away, kinda. This is the lovely bedding. <laughs> Interesting design.、Um, my water heater. I have a Renai heater. So, this is in Celsius. So, I'm trying to bring it up to 17 degrees. It was 12 when I got here.、Um, 17 is about 63 degrees、uh, Fahrenheit. So, it's, it's pretty chilly in here right now, but it's, it's warming up.、Um, here is my desk. I've got my laptop on there. I've already tested my plugs. They do work with these outlets, which is good. That's what I expected. I do have a converter、um, in case they didn't work, and I will keep that around with me in my bag in case I do ever encounter an outlet which、uh, doesn't seem to be working. It's just my packet of important documents, such as my plane tickets and stuff, or plane receipt. Yeah, that's really it. It's kind of a small space,、um, which is. Honestly, like ideal. I love it. I lo oh, look at this phone. Yes. So I don't have to worry about not having a phone because I have a phone. It's so old fashioned. I have a phone that I can only use in one specific location. How crazy.、Um, plenty of storage space. I've got my own vacuum. Started to put stuff into a few of the cabinets. Got、oh, clothes put away in this drawer that I just pulled all the way out by accident. So, oops.、Um, <laughs> ah, there we go. I also have a balcony. So, this is my View. I am on the second floor of the Kai Khan, which is the international house. There are 40 international students living here 20 who are permanent students, and 20 who are exchange students like me. I also have, you might be noticing in this corner. Is my dryer line. I've been told that the laundry is down in the basement, but I haven't checked on that yet. And based on the fact that this line both exists and seems to be in use in 
other units, I suspect that there might not be a electric dryer. So that will probably be a very <laughs> interesting experience. So there's the building from the outside. Let's see what I was saying earlier about some people having their laundry out on the line. I'm going to get some food because I haven't eaten in a very long time. And in doing so, I'm also exploring a little bit of Hirosaki. I have been told that there is a supermarket somewhere in this direction. So, hopefully I find that. So I just checked out a little convenience store and they had some food in there that I, I can go back and buy if I don't find the grocery store, but I've been told that the name of the store is something with a U, and there's a sign down here with a big U on it, so I think I might have found the grocery store, which is good because the thing that the convenience store did not have was any sort of cutlery, which I don't have, so even if I did get like some cup ramen or something, I don't have anything to eat it with right now. So, hopefully the grocery store will have that. This is my my haul of food. Uh, I've got some apples, kiwi, huge ass grapes. I assume they're gonna have some seeds in them. Very interesting. This is like the largest package of grapes that was being sold. It's about two bucks. So that's, you know, that's fairly expensive. <laughs> Um, for that few grapes. Here's a little less than a dollar for whatever this is. Um, I'm hoping that it's just a plain rice uh, onigiri um, rice ball. If not, I have some plain rice here. Some sushi that I'm going to try, which is going to be my hopefully meal kinda tonight. Sharp knife plastic forks and spoons, dishwashing gear for the knife, <laughs> it's the only permanent piece of silverware that I got, um, and paper bowls, which proved to be incredibly useful already. So, that paper bowl, uh, or package of paper bowls, came in handy because, well, I had been warned that the way that Japan handles their bagging for groceries is very different from America. Um, so I, you know, watched a couple people go through, like trying to get an idea of how it was working, and it looked like everyone has the same configuration of this big pink basket that they're going up to the counter with. And you put your basket down on the counter, and then the, uh, cashier rings you up and then places your stuff into a new basket which is the, the exact same kind of basket it's just she takes it out of your basket and puts it into a different one um so then people would then take that and she doesn't bag anything so she people would then take that and bring their stuff over to this counter where there are these um rolls of tiny plastic bags um, and it looked like pe some people were putting certain items into individual bags, but for the most part, people would then pull from their pockets or their purses or whatever, their, um, like, cloth shopping bags, like you can buy at the uh, checkout counter in America. So I was like, oh, okay. So it's, like, people just use uh, reusable bags. Okay, so there are some reusable bags, um at the end of the counter. So uh, I was like, okay. Um, and they had a price tag on them. So I was like, then they were hanging up with a bunch of other stuff that ostensibly looked like it was for sale. So I put those in front of my cart or in front of my um, basket as it went through. And the cashier picked them up and spoke at me in Japanese. Like she was coolly asking me questions. And I was like, uh... <laughs> Uh, eventually, we worked, we, we worked out to the point where I was just shaking my head and she eventually just like gave up on whatever she was trying to tell me about those bags and just she just put them under the counter and then 
wrung me out. So I don't know what she was asking me about them. I have been thinking about it as I was walking home, carrying all my stuff in my hands, and uh, I, I put a lot of it into the those paper bowls and tried to carry it like that. Um, I, perhaps she was trying to clarify that I wanted to that I understood that I would be paying for those bags. Maybe that's something that Americans don't understand. Um, sometimes when they go through the line, although I say that as if she's dealt with a lot of Americans, there are only 40 international students. Um, and only three of us are from America. Only th I haven't met anyone really yet, but apparently only three international students are American. Um, so. But anyway, this was a very interesting experience, not just because I hopefully have got some food to eat now, but also because this is my first time encountering someone um, and being in direct contact with someone who spoke, speaks absolutely zero English. <laughs> the whole way up, um, I've been getting progressively less English speakers from Tokyo to Aomori and now here in Hirosaki uh, stations, etc. The various like checkout counters and stuff that I've been going to for the trains. Um, but this was the first time. Not only what did she speak no English, but I also I was doing it wrong. Um, so that the combination of those two things would kind of was really the first time that either of those things has happened. Um, not that I haven't been, not that I've been doing everything perfectly, but I've been able to walk up to someone who does speak English, like at the um, Japan rail counter, they always seem to speak English because they have that specific pass for tourists um, that they probably have to deal with English speakers a lot. Um, I've always been able to talk to them and figure out how to do something and not just like try to do something and then be doing it wrong, if that makes sense. It's like, it felt, it felt like a different experience. On the plus side, I'm eating sushi for the first time, trying to get a shot of it. There it goes. And it's good. It's, I, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I probably should have tried it before I came to Japan, but now I'm in Japan and I'm trying it, and it's good. <laughs>